Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna be doing a hair and makeup tutorial, recreating the character Sadness from the Disney Pixar movie Inside Out. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it tonight. It's so good. But I really just wanted an excuse to use the Curl Smith hair makeup once again. This is the color turquoise, which was one of my favorite colors that I used when trying all these out. So I was like, what character has blue hair? What character really embodies the year 2020? Sadness. So I'm going to apply this on refreshed hair. This is my day two hair. I actually used the Curl Smith in shower style fixer yesterday. And I did notice that the blue comes out a little bit more potent on dry hair, but the gel works better on wet hair. So I'm still gonna re-damp my hair, but I'm not gonna be applying on soaking wet hair like I have in my previous videos. So, without further ado, let's get started. So my hair actually still looks really good because the In Shower Style Fixer is bomb, but I'm going to spritz my hair, getting it wet again. Kinda reactivating my gel from yesterday. But we are gonna apply more gel for the sake of color. We might as well do one side at a time because it's just going to dry. So let me just put this away and focus on this side first. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, the character Sadness doesn't have curly hair. She has straight blue hair. Well, we only have so many curly options, you know. So what I love to do, instead of looking for an excuse to straighten your hair, I like to create the curly versions of some of our favorite characters. So instead of getting heat damage because you wanna have straight hair for one day, which I don't recommend, I would suggest just being the curly version of whoever you have in mind. So I learned when applying the Curl Smith hair makeup, I like to just put a whole bunch and glob it on my hair. Let's do this. Oh, I forgot that the blue is the most liquidy out of all the hair makeup colors. But look how beautiful! Oh, such a pretty blue. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now this stuff is vegan, cruelty free, sulfate, parabens, silicone free, which is really hard to find. I used to have to use hair color that did have silicone in it because there just really weren't any options. So I love that this is a silicone free option. It's made from blueberry, periwinkle, juniper, like just real natural ingredients. I want this to be really potent. Maybe I should just apply it on dry hair. Let's just see what this does. Let's see what happens if I just go onto the dry hair. Oh yeah, you do see it more. Let's just refresh with it on dry hair. Vibrancy out of the turquoise color, I do think it looks better applied to dry hair. So I would say do it on like your day two or three refreshed curls. So I am going to diffuse this side and then probably apply more once it's dry. As I wait for my hair to dry, now let's start doing the makeup. This is my first time doing a full face, like face paint. Kind of scared. I'm no makeup artist, so this isn't really like a tutorial, but more like watch Bianca figure this out and hope it looks good kind of thing. So I picked up some makeup from Friends Beauty. So I got a blue and white of the Mayron Cream Sticks. And then I also got the Mayron Makeup Skin Prep as my primer. Let's do this. So this primer says to apply with a cotton pad. I have very oily skin, so we are going to hope this sucks up all the oil. So sadness is kind of like a light blue, so I don't really want to be this dark of a blue, but I am going to mix these two together to get, hopefully, the perfect blue. And I'm going to be using a beauty blender to do so. So let's see if this works, grabbing a Real Techniques beauty blender. So I'm just going to dab some white 
with some blue. Like I said, I'm no makeup artist. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's pretty. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of the dark blue to contour my cheeks. Now I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier setting powder and set my face. Now for my brows, I'm gonna try something kind of weird. I'm going to try using my lipstick, which is by Makeup Forever. This pretty blue color. See how this works. Get more of like a teal brow instead of like a dark blue. Let's just try it. Oh, I like that. One brow done, one to go. Gonna do a quick set of my whole face with the same Laura Mercier powder. Gently set this. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna get my Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm gonna grab the color Double Dip. Now is sadness really this glam? No. Technically, she would just be a solid blue face, but this is more fun. This is like sadness on her birthday. Like she doesn't want to have plans, but her friends are making her have plans. So she has to put in a little more effort. Now I'm gonna add some glitter because it's me. So I'm grabbing the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Now I'm gonna grab the NYX Glitter in this pretty like turquoise blue color. The real color is GLI-03. Gonna tap it into the cap. Glitter just makes everything better. Especially when you don't have any eyeshadow skills because you don't really have to like blend glitter. So it just looks good. Adding some more glue to the other eye and doing the same thing. I just remembered I actually have a glitter glue for my eyeshadow. Probably should have used that instead of just the primer, but it's working. Okay, let's gently dust off any fallout. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna use this one by Revlon. It's blue. For my mascara, I'm gonna use this Colossal Big Shot. This was the collab with Makeup Shayla, and it's a blue mascara. I am gonna be putting on just black lashes, but just to give it some height. Let's add some lashes, because lashes make everything look better. These are by AF Cosmetics. They're called Sugar Mama. And I'm using a black duo glue. grab my Becca palette and use this white color in the middle to highlight. And now for the lips. I'm grabbing that same Makeup Forever lipstick. So now 
now my face is complete. I'm actually pretty happy with it for my first time. So now let's go back to the hair and fluff it out. So here's how the blue dried, which looks good, but I want it to be even more vibrant, especially on the side that was a little damp. So I'm gonna grab some more of my hair makeup and really get it blue. Now we're talking. So I'm gonna diffuse and make it even bigger. I'm using the Curl Smith hair makeup and I just get excited every single time. So let's pick it out because I mean it's Halloween. Might as well go crazy. Sadness is probably just sad because she had a bad wash and go. She might have accidentally used some silicone. You know, maybe she had some flat hair. Let's just give her the volume that she needs. So she's not like too sad. Hair is complete. Now let's put on the actual costume. You are gonna need some blue leggings and a white turtleneck. She would be in a white turtleneck with all this blue. I'm not worried about my hair because the hair makeup is transfer resistant, but this makeup, I don't know. I found this little face cover from Amazon, so I'm actually gonna try to stick my whole face in here, like so, and then you zip it up just like that. And now let's put on this turtleneck because I didn't want to do my makeup in it. Slowly. Okay. Gentle. Oh yeah, we did it. Ooh, as long as your hair is dry, it's not going to stay in your clothes. Did I do it? Oh, we did it! I need to add some more blue to my neck if need be. So sad. To top it off, I did get some glasses from Amazon. These are actually like Harry Potter glasses, technically. The sweater is also from Amazon. Here we go, the final touch. Oh, sadness. Even though I'm really happy this turned out great. Oh, this is so fun. I think I am going to add some blue to the neck, dangerously. Why did she want to wear a white sweater? That might be enough. Let's try to set it with some powder. And now, the look is complete. Curly sadness. The only other thing I wish I could add would be blue contacts, but I personally am terrified of contacts. I can't even do eye drops. So if you are brave enough to actually get FDA approved prescription blue contacts, I would suggest popping those in. But for me, I'll probably just use an Instagram filter and change it in post. So that completes my look for sadness, even though I'm very happy with how this turned out. Always pick your favorite character for Halloween and make the curly version of them because it's obviously <laughs> even cooler. If you guys wanna get some hair and makeup for yourself, they have a bunch of different colors, including copper, which is an orange color, a ruby red, they have a rose gold pink, they have a gold, they're available at Ulta, and they're sulfate, paraben, silicone free, they wash out so easy, they don't transfer, on your clothes. You might see like some little speckles dust, but nothing that's like permanently gonna stain your clothes. And obviously there's so much fun. So if you guys use any Curl Smith hair makeup for your Halloween look, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see all your creative ideas. And if you have any more ideas for a blue haired costume, leave me a comment below and give me some more suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. 
Same with my TikTok and my Twitter. So have a happy Halloween safely indoors. Get dressed up for your Zoom calls. Have fun with it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.